Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, welcome to Oksana's Twin Manual. Oh, I'm going to give you four ideas for fairly quick breakfast. So for the next four days, I'm going to try my very best to film every single morning. And as we sort of, as we go through our fridge and pantry stash, um, and progressively have less and less items to use. I'm going to show you what we come up with and what I do. Yeah, I'm hoping that this will be the video where, you know, you wake up in the morning and you're absolutely clueless on what to make for your kid or even for yourself. Um, because I am going to try to obviously focus on the baby version, but also show you what you can make out of that and have for yourself. They're feeding each other, um, I don't know if you can see. They have a plate full of fruit over there and they were just feeding it to each other. So cute. Anyhow, so that's the plan. Uh, today I am going to make a deconstructed breakfast bagel. Basically, it's a bagel with avocado and eggs held together in a patty by cheese, which, which is not my idea. I can't take any credit for it because it's uh, Wyatt's, my boyfriend's um, original recipe. So, um, but it, it's so easy to make, it's super duper quick. Um, and it's even easier to give it to the kids because it's like a deconstructed bagel, so. Let's get started. With all those ideas throughout the days, it's it's more like an outline of what you can use. It's not, it doesn't have to strictly be that. So if, uh, if in the next couple of days I make them yogurt with, oh, what's going on baby? So if in the next couple of days I make them yogurt with fruit, it's just sort of a guideline on just what to put together, but whoa. Yeah, it's sort of like you can use any fruit you want, you know what I mean? So you can use, you can substitute whatever it is that you have available for yourself and it's still going to work just fine. By saying that in today's video I'm using a bagel, but if you have bread or a bun or even a tortilla, tortilla, tortilla? <laughs> that will it will work as well. Okay, let's jump right in. idea that we're going to be making today you are going to need eggs avocado or any other excuse you <laughs> or any other vegetable of your choice um, cheese and then uh, a choice of bread for you and your little one um, so I'm gonna have a bagel and then they're gonna have their little Bread that we buy, it's like, it's it's super awesome. It's like sprouted grains, great stuff. And then you might want some condiments. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, um, preheat your pan. You want it fairly hot because you're just, you're gonna scramble those eggs pretty quick. While uh, the pan is preheating, we are going to take care of this avocado and be very careful when you do this because, I mean, I eat like three avocados a day, so, I just go for it, but you know, just don't cut yourself. So what we wanna do is uh, for for your sandwich, we're just gonna cut it up like this and leave it at that. For the kids, very dangerous, do not do that at home. 
Uh, usually what I just do is that I just cut it in half and then quarters. It's so much easier to handle avocado in its shell and then just scoop it out with a spoon rather than taking it out and then trying to cut it, it just turns into a mush. So we're just gonna let leave that for now and we're gonna bounce back to our pan, throw some butter on that or whatever your preference is and we're just going to crack two eggs on this and we're going to whisk them and you just want them scrambled to honestly your own preference if you like them more runny that's it's all up to you now that's done so now what we're gonna do is that we are going to uh, we are going to plate this for the kids um, so that it can cool down and then the rest of it if you think that this is completely cooled down because you got busy with the screaming children uh, then you can turn it on just on super low just for a couple just for a few seconds put your cheese and what we're gonna do you wanna grab a bowl and put it right on top of it so it melts the cheese okay and I think at this point we can turn uh, turn this off there we go and just let it sit now we're going to finish plating uh, the children's plates so for the avocado grab a spoon and just spoon out the pieces that you wanted for them here we are place them right right in here voila to sprinkle the avocados with some ham parts so we're gonna do that that's done I might leave it out to put some on my bagel in the meantime I'm gonna throw my bagels on here and we're going to finish off the the girls breakfast so what I like to do is that I still like to cut off the Whoa, okay. I still like to cut off the, the harder crust here. Usually just leave the top. I like to throw some cream cheese on it. <coughs> oh my goodness, pardon me. Excuse me, sorry for that. And we're gonna cut this in half and diagonal. See my hair on the counter. So basically here is the kids plate all finished because I have some available right now I'm going oh they didn't close the fridge because I have some available right now I am going to give them some tomato throw them sort of all over make it nice and colorful here probably a lot of you will be wondering about the skin I was always told when I was a kid that the skin should be taken off off of tomato uh, because if it wasn't in your stomach would be upset. I'm sorry, but I think it's BS. Um, know that I know that it can somewhat it's an idea of it getting stuck to the lining of your stomach or something like that. But honestly, with whole honesty. Ever since my girls started eating solids, I just never really had time to boil water, put the tomato in it, then run it under cold water, then peel it, and then try to cut it where it's slippery as hell, not trying to cut my fingers off. So simply, that was just not an option for me to play like this. So I would just wash it super well, well, either with like hot water or like save baby soap even sometimes if I felt the need to. Uh, apple cider vinegar is also another very good thing but for the most part they've always eaten everything with skins with the skins that are edible right so it's it's your own preference all right and here it is all complete baby breakfast plate you got your protein you got some healthy at you have some healthy fats in the avocado here you got your fruit you could say because tomato is a fruit vitamin C in this to help absorb all of the iron uh, from here um, we got some some dairy product in here and you got some whole grain bread you're good to go now we're going to get started on the adult side of breakfast so what we did with the avocado earlier how we chopped it up like that 
it's just so much easier to scoop it out like that. Bam, throw it right on your avocado. I mean, <laughs> throw it right on your bagel. Smush it all around. Then you'll want to grab your pen and uncover this deliciousness, if it focuses for me. We're just gonna scoop it like that. Throw it right on here. Would you look at this? You want to season your egg however you like that. There we go. Woo! I love hot sauce. So that's, if you're not into spicy, don't do that. And voila. That is that. We have a little interruption happening. What's going on, my little baby, huh? Why are you so sad? Do you want to get in your chair, Booger? Yeah, maybe. What about you? <laughs> are you dancing? Tiny, tiny, Lala. Where are you running? Wow! The girls are getting ready. For breakfast. What you doing? Did it take us no sec? Hey! Get that out of here now! The whole world is gonna see that now, Lala. Look at your scarf here, huh? It's a headband. Look, you wear it like this. Whoa, it's so cute! Oh my goodness! Come on, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, let's finish this breakfast. I'm so hungry right now. Oh my goodness. With all the talking and stuff, it obviously takes me much longer to make breakfast. So the girls had a plate of fruits in the morning just so they can make it until I finish this. Um, but we're getting there. Without all this talking and explaining, you could... You would totally be able to do this within like 15 minutes. If you have like in up in an in uninterrupted 15 minutes, easy money. Okay, let's finish this off. All right, here it is, all complete. Okay, we're gonna serve this now because those kids are about to starve. Okay, now the question is, can I do this with one hand? Let's let's check this out. Because if I can without dropping everything. No. No, no, let's just give them water first. Water. Water. Are you ready to eat? Uh -huh. Are you ready to eat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna grab their food. This looks really good. There you go. Eat up, boogers. We'll check in in a little bit with them to see what they what they think of this. Okay, so literally three minutes later, not even. I have devoured my bagel, and the girls just cleared their plates. It's probably like their go-to, like that whole combination is definitely one of their favorite things to eat. So this is breakfast idea number one, all complete. I'm going to clean up the girls now and they're probably going to head off for a nap real soon. And then tomorrow morning, we'll be right back here. We'll see what we're gonna make tomorrow because I have no clue. <laughs> all right, hope you guys enjoyed it. But I hope this recipe was pretty easy. It's not much of a recipe. It's kind of just like an, uh, I guess an idea only. Um, you know, you can you can play with it, you can have fun with it, you have to adjust how, however many eggs you need, avocados and all that stuff. It's, it's all, it's all to your own judgment. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna get going now before Lala gets out of the chair all dirty and, okay, bye guys.